Good morning, Eclectnistas! It's Monday, November 30th, the last day of November. Oh, this year has truly, truly, truly flew by. Literally. Psh, for real. So, let's talk about last night, Sunday night. Okay, there was a lot of interesting stuff going on last night on TV. And I'm going to just go and say this. Erica Badu, girl, you did that ish on Soul Train Music Awards, okay? I love the fact that there was no hip-hop, no rap. And trust me, I am not a hater of hip-hop or rap. However, it was just nice to watch a music award show. And I could understand everything that was coming out the people's mouth, okay? Badu did a phenomenal job with hosting. And honey, when Tyrone came out and Tyrone said, could you stop telling people to call me? For the past 10 years, I've been picking people up. Child, y'all already know. Y'all already know. I mean, just everybody that's in my playlist on Spotify performed last night. Tyrese, Black Rose. I love Tyrese. I love what he stands for when it comes to how, you know, he, he is like, he's a hopeless romantic let's just call it what it is he's a hopeless romantic and he loves to sing about love and his experiences and i think a lot of grown ass men can learn from tyrese yeah tyrese has been he didn't put his shit on blast i think he's on a steve harvey show one day and he was just saying that you know he has messed up tons of relationships and he can't blame it all on the woman all the time. But he's also had some women do him dirty too. And y'all know that story. However, he shares his testimony. And, you know, I can respect a man that can put his shit out there. Okay? And not be ashamed. And Tyrese performed last night. Babyface. Honey! Woo! That is me and James's L right there, boys. The men, Tony Braxton. Uh, I mean, just all of them that was singing last night. Okay, Fantasia. Honey, Fantasia will take your ass to church. She said, you, she asked permission. Can, can I let go? She will ask permission on cue, okay? And then R. Kelly. Me and James are a lover of R. Kelly. We got all R. Kelly shit, okay? All of his stuff. We have it. I ain't talking about on digits. We got it on disc. So, it was just nice and refreshing to have like a grown, grown and sexy event going on last night on the um, Soul Train Music Awards. She said, was nobody going to be on the stage that start with little or young? And no gold teeth and nothing was going to be on fleek. Understandable. And to me, it was probably one of the better shows that I have watched in the past couple of years. I mean, I stayed tuned for the whole damn thing, okay? And then Atlanta Housewives. Let me just go out and say this. Well, I got one little side note with Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, whoever is watching, Stevie Wonder, y'all need to please let Stevie Wonder's braids go. That, and trust me, y'all, I am not throwing shade. I'm not throwing shade. Shade is when you talking behind people back and they don't know it. Stevie, no. Stevie has to know that he got to let it go. He got to know. It's important that he knows. Because, honey, them little 8 to 10 plaques was in giving me life last night it was it was just mm, that's why they didn't do a whole lot of far back pictures that's why everything was like this yeah so you could barely see his plaits whoever doing stevie hair i am informing you to please let it go let it go let it go please that's all i'm asking atlanta housewives honey boo boo kitty first of all there's a lot of shade throwing on now we know it's weekly. You must have your sunglasses on deck when you're watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. Second, um, the whole bitch thing with Kim, um, Portia and Cynthia. First of all, why do women disrespecting other women and saying that, oh, when I call you bitch, it's words of endearment. I don't find nothing endearing about being called a bitch, a female dog. I don't find nothing endearing about that. So, you know, last week I was telling y'all about, you know, if you're my friend, you know, I would invite you to my house. Well, let me just go on and say this too. If you're an associate of mine, okay, because my friends know better not to call Stephanie no bitch. If you're an associate of mine, you will not be using that form of, or that word of endearment when you address me. My mama gave me a name and I have a government name now. My, my government name is Stephanie. Stephanie. And 
that's what I choose to be called. If you want to break it down in a nickname, it's Steph. You can spell it P-H or you can spell it with an F. I don't care. Just don't call me the word bitch. And see how the word bitch got taken out of context? I mean, they had been slinging it around. Bitch this, bitch that. And then all of a sudden, Cynthia had a moment. And she is, I'm going to say that she let her frustrations out on Portia because they have been doing it all afternoon. So all of a sudden, now it means something. I don't know. But you know what? Ain't that how Portia got suspended for a year? Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta from fighting with Kenya? Let's not have a repeat. No. I don't like the girl fighting on TV. I don't care what show it is. Real Housewives of Atlanta, Bad Girls. I, I just, I think it's so tacky. And yeah, I know they said, oh, it's for good entertainment, but that shit don't entertain me, which means that's why I don't watch those shows. So I just, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like to see women doing each other like that. And I don't like to see women address each other as, hey, bitch, what's up, bitch? <laughs> bitch, you fly. Stephanie don't like that. I, I don't think that's cute at all. And then Poe Kim Fields. Poe Kim Fields. I, I, I hope. Phaedra can help her because she she seems a little like disconnected from the world and after watching her child y'all know I will take it straight to social media and yes I had to say I know that I am someone's wife mother however I can never lose who Stephanie is never I can never lose me I gotta stay true to me because before I became someone's wife mother I was me <laughs> that I shall remain okay okay so now let me go on and get my life all the way right because like I said I got errands to run and I got some ish to do around the house before I walk out the door yeah. I am so sorry but uh yeah Stephanie been living on low battery all day today and that's not like me not at all not at all okay so y'all yeah, i was doing this makeup look that was inspired by and i just loved like all the purpleness about her makeup and it just looked so plum so i decided that i was gonna do that look today too you know because Generally speaking, when I do like browns, I generally will do pops of red. But I feel like it's purple. What y'all think? To do a tutorial on this? Yeah. Told y'all. Well, maybe I didn't tell y'all. But the kid ain't doing nothing to her hair today or tomorrow. Because Wednesday morning, I have an appointment with the braider. Yeah, Stephanie's not going to be doing nothing with her hair, putting it up in no buns. Because, y'all, let me just tell y'all the truth. Drawstring string ponytails are the devil. They are the devil. That comb, that comb be hurting, y'all. It be hurting. Now, on certain days, I put it in the right spot and it don't bother me. But on them days that I don't, child, boo, I will snatch that shit out. I don't care where I'm at. I will snatch that shit out. Because Stephanie cannot be walking around with no headache. Mm -mm. We are not about that life. All right, y'all, I'm going to be quick because I did not realize that it's almost midnight. Yeah, I didn't realize that until just now. I've been on the phone with my homegirl, Tanita, for about the past six hours. And, yeah, I'm going to take a shower while I've been on the phone. I know, what a beat face. Yeah, it's just that um, I still had to talk to y'all, okay? So, uh, I took a shower. I done ate dinner. I done had two glasses of wine. And my husband, I came home. He done ate and I'm pretty sure he's upstairs in the bed right now. So, yeah, I need to get my ass up there, too. Because I didn't realize what time it was. So, shame on Steph. Any hoot. I can't cry over spilled milk. However, I did want to say this to y'all. Today, I talked to my mama, right? And we had a death in our family. And my uncle Leroy, God bless his soul, he has gone on to glory. My mom, we was just talking and she was just saying that you know how it's always good for people to have their house in order before they leave. And you know, she was like, you know, he didn't have a will, he didn't have like, like nothing in place as far as like funerals and stuff like that. And it just really saddens me how people act when 
someone passes away, people get greedy, people get money hungry, and people just don't know how to damn act. I don't think it really matters what race you are when it comes to that. It's like it's always an arguing and a bickering and a battle when someone that you love passes. I'm gonna speak on this because it bothers the hell out of me. I remember when my grandmother passed away seven years now. Tomorrow, actually, it's 12.02 and it's December 1st. So eight years ago, today, my grandmother passed away. And it was the most tragic moment in my young life. And yes, I said my young life. Yeah, that was eight years ago. That would make me, what, 32, 33? Yeah, any hoot. It was the most tragic day of my young life because two weeks prior to that, I had just lost my grandfather and we had went to Florida and we did the funeral and I remember sitting next to my grandmother and you know I wasn't like trying to make light of it you know I was just now saying that you know now my grandmother should be able to you know travel and you know come see us because we you know everybody has dispersed and stuff like that and you know she just get to travel because she was dedicated wife that took care of her husband my papa was 100 years old when he got called home to glory and my grandmother she never like quite answered me like that was something that she was going to do and i just remember asking her that if something happened like did her and my grandfather have like a will and like did they like you know put it in play, you know, how they wanted things to play out and stuff like that. And my grandma, in her listen voice, said, No, baby, no. Grandma don't need a will. Why am I planning for other people to do stuff with my stuff? Well, I think my grandmother should have done that. And I'm just saying it for this. Our family has not been the same since my grandfather and grandmother left. And when I say we were like a very tight knit family, like we did everything together. And once she and my grandfather left, that all changed. Family grew distant. And it was all because it wasn't something spelled out for others to follow to the T to make sure it happened, therefore the family can stay united and together. And it's so sad that families really do break up because of death, money, bickering on who's gonna get what, who's gonna get this and who's gonna get that. And does it really matter? Like really, that's why y'all. I'm going to enjoy my life every day as if it was my last. People that I know that need to know that I love them, I'm gonna make always make sure that they know I love them. I'm gonna always be fly every day, all day. Why? Because when am I saving clothes for the next person in the world once I'm gone, once I'm gone? Mm -mm. No. My mom called me and she was just like expressing like her, her feelings about it. And you know, it's just sad. It's just sad how they say sometimes death can bring people together. However, I've only seen it spread us apart. And God bless you, Uncle Leroy. Tell Grandma, Papa, Uncle Freddie, Uncle Kent. Tell them all I said hello. Y'all ain't got your house in order? Get your house in order. Because I swear, if something happened to me and my husband, it's written out how we want stuff to play out. And I don't want Jasmine and Jada bickering and fighting over nothing. I just don't. I want them to remain sisters, and I want them to remain close. So, I said all of that to say this. Get your house in order. Because you never know. Tomorrow's not promised to anybody. And live life to the fullest. Because if you don't have your house in order, basically you're leaving it for other people to enjoy. So I'm going to live mine to the fullest. And if I have it my way, I don't, don't want to leave nothing. I just want to enjoy everything. I just want to enjoy it all. Enjoy it all with my family and my loved ones. That's what I want to do. I want to enjoy it all. So, yeah. That's my take on it. And on that, I'm about to get my ass upstairs so I can get in the bed with my husband. Because he's probably feeling the bed looking for me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So I'll see y'all tomorrow same time, same place.